data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Once again, Kinsey, I know fuck all about what you've got me doing or why I'm doing it. I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Might as well. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. I need to get my oil changed. I'm close, Kinsey. How safe is it to nick this thing? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. Oh, yeah, this song is brilliant. They sing with me, Kinsey. No, I don't think so. Oh, this is happening. Even if I have to let you be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. <laughs> You're up, Kinsey. And you know, it ain't fiction. No. That's a direct order, Miss Kensington. Fuck that. And you wonder why I don't have you to tea anymore. Reading another cluster. And he steals the cover. Data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. Details, Kinsey. And try to keep them simple. It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. It's truth. I think I actually understood that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. And back to the gibberish. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. And Bob's your uncle. So will three of these suffice? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. Almost 500,000. So are these data biscuits? Ugh. Clusters. Right, clusters. If they can be so bloody useful, why does Zinyak leave them lying around? Why would they need them? To give his soldiers more juice? I don't know, you said they're so amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! But doesn't he want us to keep... Sod it, I'll just accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Holy shit. Zinyak destroyed my flat. Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well, the ladies never complained. This piece of shit... Brilliant. Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. So, what's this then? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. 
How exactly am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. So I just run up walls now, do I? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Pretty much the same thing. Crikey! This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. You gotta be fucking joking. Just try it. Fun, but we can do better. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Spot on. See? You did it! I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck. How's this race tied to the simulation? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. You lost me. It means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Hey, that time it made sense. It did the first time I said it too. Love you too, Kitsy. Lies. <laughs>